Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying to make sense of this crazy market, and welcome to our weekly recap. So last week was kind of interesting. Uh, the Arizona Coyotes hockey team are going to Utah. So we no longer have a professional hockey team. They put a proposal together to put a big stadium up in Scottsdale, and the Scottsdale mayor said, nope, I don't want it here. He said, fine. And so they uh, sold the team to uh, Utah. So they're gone. Very interesting. Quick turn of events. Uh, if you're a hockey fan, you're disappointed. If you're not a hockey fan, you're yawning. Also saw from the governor where the governor vetoed a bill that came through the legislature that was going to turn up the heat on squatters, make it easier to get squatters out of your home. And she vetoed it because she felt there were some conflicts with the uh, Landlord Tenant Act, and she thought maybe that crossed the line. So expect that to be addressed again. Uh, there's a lot of people very upset about that, especially if you have a squatter in your home. The other thing we saw go on was I found an article about this large corporation that bought these investors that bought a lot of farmland out on the West Coast, not the West Coast. I guess I'll call it the West Coast of Arizona, out by the Colorado River and bought this farmland about 10 years ago. And the only reason that they purchased it was to be able to own the water rights from the water below and the water from the Colorado River. And uh, they're taking those water rights that they have and they're shipping it to Queen Creek. Let's take a look at that segment right here. How one corporation is cashing in on America's drought. Get this. An un in an unprecedented deal, a private company purchased land in tiny Arizona town, sold its water rights to a suburb 200 miles away, Locals fear they're opening a Pandora box. So let me give you a little bit of context here. This is out in Cibola, Arizona, right here, right by the Colorado River. And so they bought this farmland and they took it and they're pumping it to, let me type this in here, Queen Creek, which is way over here because that's where a lot of the growth is right now now what they've done is they've gone in and and they bought this land a, a few years ago and everybody thought oh, okay no big deal they bought a farm corporations buy farms all the time tucked into the bends of the lower colorado river cibola arizona community about 200 people maybe 300 if you count the weekend Nearly a decade ago, Greenstone Resource Partners, a private company backed by global investors, bought almost 500 acres of agricultural land here in Cibola, first of kind of its deal, and uh, and then they're shipping it to Queen Creek. And they made $14 million gross profit. Why? Because Queen Creek paid them $24 million to have access to this, to this water. I also noticed this week that new listings started to come down and I posed the question to Pat with price mortgage. And I said, okay, why is it bucking the trend? Interest rates went up, new listings went down. Remember in 2022, uh, when interest rates first had its big spike up, um, listings went through the roof. Well, part of that was open door, dumping a lot of listings on the market, trying to get rid of them. But people were just trying to grab their equity. Now rates, you know, had this kind of a week where rates went up, um, new listings went went down, which is kind of bucking the trend. But the most puzzling part about it was new contracts went up. Let's take a look at that conversation I have with Pat right here. So this, I'm going to roll this out more like a question than an observation, and especially for the audience, and ask you to tell me what you think this means. Because this is this is unusual, Pat. In other words, look, this is our new listings. They've gone down the past two weeks. Our contracts have not gone down. They, they've actually gone up the gap between what was about 76% here between new contracts and new listings is now sitting here. You can see the ticker below. I think, what is it, 85%? That's, that's a huge move. And... And this is right in the face of rates going up. So, Pat, it, it people are choosing right now, this, this week, not to list their homes. So are they not listing because they think rates are too high and they, they won't get a sale? 
or are they not listening because of the news of big changes coming in the summer and everybody's going to save money on commissions and, uh, and it's going to be a whole different world. What do you think? It's probably a combination of both. Honestly, I'm just, I'm give you the middle of the road answer. I mean, it's, there's a lot of confusion out there with the agents, what they're going to charge or, um, and I think certainly the volatility and rates, the last, April, this whole month of April has not been good for rates. Sellers don't want to sell because they know they're going to have to buy at a higher rate. So therefore they're not listing their home. Yeah. I mean, once again, uh, we're getting a little volatile. The is if the seller lists their home, it's probably going to go pretty good. Yeah. And I, I think, I just think that um, the, once again, I've talked about this last year where volatility and you know rates moving up, you know, people want, if they list, they're like, well, now we've got, now they've got to reconfigure what they're looking at buying. Because every for every seller, you know, for every buyer, there's typically a seller and vice versa. So it's one of these things where rates have just been kind of not, they've been very sloppy the last, really since the beginning of April. We also had a viewer make a comment in, in saying that, uh, in asking a question to Jackie, because Jackie had a comment on our live stream. She wasn't able to stay on in order to answer it. But the question was, are you seeing uh, where we're going to have a lot of listings on the market this summer because of the current trend of listings that are coming on right now. And I answered that and said, I don't see it. Let me show you how I answered that question right here. Bebop, you asked the question, I know for Jackie here, what are your thoughts on the increase in new listings heading into summer? Can you agree? We're going to see a summer swell in inventory at this current rate. I don't know what she's going to say, but I'm going to say I don't agree because this current rate is pretty lethargic. Look at that. Going into summer, which is going to be right here. I think we're going to be right here, maybe. Going into this week, this is the week that the Fed gets together and says whether or not they're going to raise rates or not. Uh, the bond market has pretty much written that off, that they're not going to raise rates. They're not going to lower rates. So they're just expecting the central bank to stay right where they're at. The GDP came in at 1.2. Previously, it was above 3 so that means the economy is slowing, gross domestic product. Uh, but inflation did not slow down. In fact, it exceeded expectations, went up a little bit. PCE, which is the core inflation, uh, that's what the Fed's watching the most when they're determining whether or not they want to lower rates. So don't expect to cut this week. If they came in and cut, that's going to surprise a ton of people. And I just don't see it happening. And uh, so now the bond traders are pricing in a 45% probability that we may not see a rate cut until September. So interest rates expect them to stay this way through the summer. And that seems to be the indication that's out there. And that's where the bond traders see it going. And that's personally where I see it's going. I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing overall in our market. I don't want to see it heat up. But as you saw in the data, I don't see it forcing prices down right now yet either. So We'll see what happens, and we just continue to watch that every week right here. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick, rickhelps.com. Take care.